Hey YouTube, this is a video on elementary counting. So what we have here is we have set A and it contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we want to know how many three element subsets does the set A have. Alright, so uh, before we even get started here, we have to know which formula we're going to use. Are we going to use the combination formula? Are we going to use permutation formula? And uh, for us to figure that out, you have to understand um, sets. So I'm going to put a little note here. So note that the, the set 1, 2, and 3, so this is the set that contains the elements 1, 2, and 3, is equal to the set that contains 2, 3, and 1. And this is equal to, let me put equals here, equal to the set 2, 1, 3. And I can keep going on, so on. And you can see that I'm just rearranging the elements within the set, but they're still all equivalent. So what this means is that the order of the elements does not matter. So we need to use the uh, combination formula. So we're going to use combination. So now the combination formula, you may see it sometimes as a N C R, or you might even replace the R with a K. And then you also may see it look like this. Um, we have N elements and we're choosing K of them. Okay, and then this is the actual formula. This is equal to N factorial divided by K factorial times N minus K factorial. Okay, so what is our N value? Our N is equal to 5 because we have 5 elements in this set. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And our K value is 3 because we want to know, uh, we want to get the number of 3 element subsets. So what that means we plug this into our formula here. We get uh, 5C3, which is equal to, uh, we have five elements, we're choosing three of them. And this is equal to 5 factorial over 3 factorial uh, times 5 minus 3 factorial. So now this is equal to 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Okay. And I'm going to continue here down. No, actually, I'll just go ahead and erase this and, and keep that last solution we have, 5 factorial. So I'm going to rewrite that over here. So we have 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So this is equal to 5 times 3, oh, sorry. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 3 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. Okay, and so now what we can do is we can simplify this even more. Just cross these out, and we get 5 times 4 divided by 2 times 1, which is equal to 20 divided by 2, which equals 10. So our answer is 10. So let's check this. Let's see if we can get 10 um, three-element subsets. So I'm going to try to write them out here. So we get 1, 2, and 3, because that's in the set A, and we're getting three element subsets. Next, I'm going to do 1, 2, 4. OK. And 1, 2, 5. All righty. And let's keep going here. Now we get 1, um, 3. 
four. Okay. And we're gonna do one, three, five. So right now we have uh, five of these three element subsets. And according to our answer, we can get 10. So let's try next one, four, and five. And let's continue here. Looks like we're done with the ones, two, three, and four. Next up, we get two, four, and five. Um, uh, we can get uh, three, four, and five. So we got nine. And now we just need to find that last one. Uh, we have one, let's see, we, let's check this. We have one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five. We have one, three, four, one, three, five. And that's all of our ones. Um, so we go to two, let's check, two, three, four, two, three, five. Oh, we do not have two, three, five, and that's where it's at. So the last one is two, three, five. And that's all 10. So thank you guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.